Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. I frequently heard this passage, um, but without its full context. I, so naturally, I've thought that this passage is really about pointing out those people who are not with Jesus, those people who are not on the, the right side of things. The more I come to think about the true meaning of the passage, the more I reflect on the idea that God is not giving us a reason to be self-righteous. I'd invite you to meditate on the full context of the gospel and to consider uh, what it might mean as it builds up to the statement. The scene is pretty interesting. We're talking about Jesus casting out a demon and the crowd, instead of noting the good deed of Jesus, immediately responds with cynicism to, towards his actions. They say, give us a sign that what you're doing is correct. And they say, well, you know, he only did that because he's in conjunction with the demons. He's actually working with demons to cast out the demons, which is an interesting conspiracy theory. But Jesus tries to respond in a way that gets at the heart of the matter. And he says to the crowd, a house divided against itself cannot stand. Jesus is telling the, the crowd that Satan cannot cast out Satan because then that would defeat his own ends, his own purpose. So it's clear that Jesus has done something good, but yet even though he has done this good deed, the crowd has responded with a kind of uh, knee-jerk cynicism to the actions of Jesus. And this is the part of the passage that I have been reflecting on lately, because I think um, we frequently find ourselves in that position where we assume the worst intentions in people that we don't like, where we might respond with cynicism even to good deeds. And this ultimately shows that we have a certain hardness of heart because even the statement of Jesus, when taken out of context, can simply be used to ignite more cynicism and division. And frequently I've heard it quoted to do just that. What does he actually mean by this cumulative statement in the gospel that we hear quoted so often? I think something that might enlighten us as to the meaning is a passage from the gospel of Mark, where it seems that Jesus says the exact opposite. The disciples notice that someone, not from the group, is casting out demons in the name of Jesus. And so they go to Jesus and say, we noticed this person casting out demons in your name, so we stopped them because they weren't part of our group. And Jesus says to them, if they are not against us, then they are with us. Which is a little different from what he says in today's gospel. Or at least it seems to be. The reality is that Jesus is saying the same things in both gospels. The way that we gather and unite with Jesus is precisely by working with one another, regardless of our many differences, to build a better world. Precisely because we have the knowledge that goodness fundamentally comes from God. And so when we notice good things happening, we should not respond with a knee-jerk cynicism that is mostly rooted in our hatred of the other. Instead, we should work towards a better world. An example of this is the Pope's uh, recent visit to Iraq. And in this visit, he met with government officials, he met with Iraq's uh, Christian community, and he also met with uh, members of the Muslim faith and representatives of, of the Muslim faith. And 
this trip was clearly rooted in exactly the message of Jesus in this gospel and in uniting for a good purpose. As the psalm response invites us, it is time to hear the voice of the Lord and to not harden our hearts with cynicism and a closed-off attitude.